We're located in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are three miles from Uptown. 90% of our members live within three miles of the club. Myers Park definitely is a family-oriented club. It's an active membership. It's multi-generational, and we have 80-year-olds and 5-year-olds. We have 1,000 kids under the age of 18. We have a beautiful Donald Ross golf course. It's so walkable and easy and fun to play. People are here on campus all the time playing tennis, and there's a large contingency that plays tennis. The pool has been redone the last few years, and we have what we call the Tiki Bar out there, which is a great place to go out and watch football games and hang out. We have a swim team that's been very, very successful. So there's all kinds of programs going on year-round, and a lot of excitement here, I think. One of the differences our club has to other ones in the area is that people come multiple times a day. You'll find people that'll come over and work out in the morning and then maybe go to work and then come back and eat dinner. So it kind of develops into this small little community with, within itself. We're really, really proud of the culinary program that we have here. We make almost everything from scratch in the house. Much of our ice cream, our breads, soup stock sauces, some of our charcuterie. Uh, we do all of our butchery in-house. We have everything from high-end dining all the way down to the hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog at the turn. And we have casual dining, we have adult casual dining, we have formal dining, we have family dining. At the same time, we, have a, we run a, a pretty good banquet business also. Well, Myers Park's just, uh, for me, it's home, it's family. I think I got the best membership uh, and staff a guy I could work with. I love the fact that we're growing. Uh, we have a long range uh, strategic plan that continues to promise new and great things for the club. In order for us to be relevant in our market, we constantly gotta be improving our game and bringing better services to our membership. We need to be on the cutting edge. We gotta continue to find ways to get better and bring better services to our membership. With Mark's leadership, I'm confident we'll, we'll, we'll get there and be at the right place. When Mark came on board, we were just renovating our kitchens and we were just getting ready to close our golf course down to redo the greens. So it wasn't like he just came on a ship that was just sailing right along. So he had a lot of challenges in the beginning, um, but he, he's turned out to be the, exactly the right person we need. People kind of were just satisfied and he has really kind of exposed everyone here at the club to what things could be and how they could be better. I really, really admire that he's all about growing talent from within. He's about mentorship and professional growth. I think what Mark does is he wants everybody to be, achieve their potential. He wants everybody to be what the best they can be. And then he encourages education. You know, he encourages building relationships with the other parts, the other departments, the other managers. He teaches you the value of everybody on the team and how the entire team works together and it depends on one another. You know, there's no individual winners. It's either a win or a loss. So um, he's very good at that team building. He's very, very present. And so we have a banquet meeting, Mark's there. Staff meetings, Mark's there. And it creates continuity of message. I've never worked in a place before where I feel as supported. He lets us do our jobs. He's not overbearing by any means. That's one of the great things about Mark. Um, he allows us to, to, to manage our departments the way that we see fit. It's fun to come to work with him every day. He's here a lot, you know, but he also gets away, he's got family, and it's super encouraging of, of, of me being with my family, which I can, I can greatly appreciate. That's the most important thing to Mark, is his family. He has a special relationship with each one of his children. Family first with Mark, for sure. He's a lot of fun to go to Steelers games with. He's got a shrine in his office. He is the super fan, yeah. He may or may not paint his face and wear a Paul Molly wig, yes. He attends every game he can possibly attend. I mean, he's all in. And he's forward thinking, he's a great recruiter of talent, and, and I think those are the main things that we're gonna need at our club to go forward. And I'm excited for him to get this chairman of the Club Manor Association of America, just because I know this is something, it's been a long time goal of his, so I'm really happy for him. Well, I came into this association as a bean counter. Uh, I think I'm leaving as a much more complete professional because 
of everything I received back from our, from our association. And as I continue to grow my skill set, I've been blessed to be touched by so many people, and those people have made a huge impact and difference in my life. I think we gotta to continue to ask our membership what they're looking for. Are we meeting the needs of our membership on a day in and day out basis? Because it's not about flash in the pan, it's about the day in and day out grind. And are we meeting the needs of, of our members all across this country? And we have such a diverse membership, people who are just out of college or are in college, all the way through our senior managers, the gray hairs, like the guys who sit on the board like myself. Uh, are we providing enough challenges for them? People say, this is gonna be your year. I keep shaking my head, it's not my year. It's, it's CMA's continued quest to be the very best and meet our members' needs. That's, that's why we're here. We're trying to give back to our association. I'd say that everyone who gets to know Mark Beto is lucky to know him. He is a great friend, he's a great mentor and he loves to help whoever wants to help themselves so i am very very thankful to know him and i and i am pretty sure everyone else is too he's just a good dad he's a good husband and um he's the best person for the job for cma at this point he's influenced the lives and he's influenced the careers of so many people that i can't wait to see what him being chairman brings to the entire uh, organization he's a terrific collaborator and uh and overall leader and we're gonna have a great year with Mark at the helm. He's such a great teacher and he's such a great mentor and I think all of us have learned uh, so much from him over the years. So I'm, I'm blessed to call him a friend and uh, I'm really glad that uh, he'll be our next chairman. He's been incredible for our organization and he will lead us into the future. So. He's a good man, that Mark Beto.